Hi everybody, today we're going to be making a duct tape purse. Um, one of my friends asked me if I could make one for her. She wanted the inside of it, the traditional duct tape color and the outside of the purse pink. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, the first step is just to make a sheet of duct tape that is 12 inches long and 10 inches wide. And I'll just trim the edges. Okay, after you trim the edges, you're going to want to fold the sheet over like this and trim the uneven edge. Now to clean these edges up, get a little piece of duct tape and fold it over on the edges. Okay, once you have something that looks like this, a sheet of duct tape with pink on one side and traditional duct tape color on the other with pink trimming, you are going to want to make a crease two inches in from the top. You really need to define this crease so that you know that it's there because this will affect all your measurements from here on out. Once you have your crease, you are going to take your other end and fold up to the crease. And now you are starting to see your purse shape. Now the only thing left to do is to cover these ends. How we are going to do this is take a piece of duct tape around three to four inches Place it directly in the middle of these two creases, the, of the two creases between here and here, and line it up with your trimming. Now fold over like, like so, and put your duct tape on the other end, like that. Now you're seeing that we are creating a side to the purse. So how we're going to do that is we're going to do that same step with putting the three to four inch piece of duct tape from each end. But instead we're gonna do it below the middle piece of duct tape and above the middle piece of duct tape. And it will look like that after you are done. It looks bad right now, but we'll clean it up by the end. But here's the problem. We have sticky on the outside now, just sticky duct tape on the outside. And that's real easy to patch up. Just put duct tape over it. there we have the ends. They look really messy right now, but again, we're just gonna patch those up at the end. And we're gonna do it with, again with this other side. Okay, now we have the other side patched up, like so. So, we're doing good so far. Now, before we work on the straps, like I said, we need to patch up what looked messy before. 
so just put the duct tape over the open ends and just basically cover up whatever does not look good. How you make the straps is you get a long piece of duct tape like this and string it across two chairs. After this, you take your piece of duct tape and align both edges of the duct tape. Crease it along the edge, you know it's run out like this. Cut off the ends that were on the chair. To attach the straps, you get a three to four inch piece of duct tape and attach the strap to the inside of the purse. Get another piece of duct tape and do the same on the other side. Now there are many ways that you can make the flap attached to the purse, like <coughs> duct tape or a magnet or a clip or anything you want or you can just crease it down by putting books on top of it or something heavy but that is how you make a duct tape purse <laughs> thanks for watching see you next time duct tape rock we're out